Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We're talking about switching. This time we're going to talk about proximity switches. So proximity switches have not the need to physically touch a medium or a switching element. Yeah? They detect even at proximitation. Proximitation? Yeah? Annäherungsschalter. Annäherungsschalter. If something is approximate to the sensor, it will already switch. There are different methods out there. However, first we need to talk about terms and names and so on, so that we can later on see different versions of those proximity switches, how they are working. Well, if you have one proximity switch, one major indication is the switching distance. All right? So switching. distance. Usually in the data sheets you have some nominal switching distance. Yeah? So there is a nominal that's SN yeah? data sheet. So they say if something is getting close to this sensor, is approximate, approximating this sensor, yeah? then at a distance of 4 mm, 5 mm, 2 mm, whatever nominal, then the sensor is switching. All right? Usually you can adjust the sensor in, in, in length to, so you can put it a little bit in, a little bit out, yeah, so that you are for sure inside those, this, this uh, nominal switching distance and they adjust it. adjustment, the adjustment should be around zero, between zero and 81% of this nominal. Yeah. So if you have a sensor with, I don't know, a four millimeters adjusted to somewhere between two and three millimeters should be fine. Yeah. However, there are some differences on so-called inductive materials, inductive proximity switches, we will hear what this is. Yeah. Uh, there's a correction factor. Our correction factor for a material. Yeah. So if there are different materials, you have to use a correction factor. factor. On capacitive Uh, proximity switches, it's usually adjustable. I had used able. I always write this wrong. Adjustable, adjustable. It's not that it's hard to write this, right? Adjustable. All right, write it. It's adjustable. This sounds not better than it is. We will see when we're talking about this capacitive proximity switches. Yeah? An optic, optic uh, proximity switches, it's also adjustable. Oh, now I have written it the first time correct. Ooh, cheers, please. <laughs> yeah? and, but it's not only adjustable, it's also depending on the reflectivity of the material. Yeah? So if you, we also talk about this in the optical proximity switches. Yeah? So the, it's easier to detect something white than to detect, detect something matte black. Fla uh, f matte black. Yeah? If you have a re a object, objects you can see easily also with optic proximity switches Detect it easily. All right. Okay, that's the switching distance. There are also then terms according to switching distance where you say, okay, it's reproducibility. Reproducibility. Yeah? This is the accuracy 
of the switching distance. This means if you have switching, if you're switching two, three, four, whatever times, the switching distance will remain constant. Okay, that's reproducibility. Yeah, then we usually have a switching hysteresis. The switching hysteresis is you have one level to switch on. There you usually have to get closer and then a little bit far away. Yeah. Another. Level to switch. Back off. Okay, this is switching hysteresis. And we also have a switching frequency. This basically gives how many switching you can do by by uh, second, yeah. Switches per second. Switches per second, and usually there is there is a, a ratio. If you have written the data sheet, so and that and that many switches, 400 hertz or whatever, yeah. This usually means an impulse. To pause ratio of one to two. Yeah? If we have an impulse where something is close to the proximity switch, yeah, and it takes one second, then the pause is two seconds. Yeah, one to two. If it takes half a second, then the pause is one second. This is the nominal. This is what you can read in the data sheet. Okay. Then we have electrical. We have electrical things, yeah. Electrical terms, yeah. There is the nominal voltage or the rated voltage. That's the voltage level that the, the proximity switch is working with, yeah. It's usually a range between 6 and 36 volts or something like that. Yeah? Yeah. Operating voltage range. All right. Yeah? Then we have the minimum and maximum. load uh, the current minimum maximum output current this is how much uh, amperes you allowed this this switch it's a switch can switch off and on okay then we have usually have an idle power consumption This is how much power the, the sensor needs itself. And closely related to, there is also the voltage, voltage drop. Yeah. This means, you know, if you have somewhere the sensor, yeah, this is the sensor, proximity sensor. It is connected here, it is connected here, and here we have the signal. So here we have, for instance, plus, yeah, minus and signal, yeah, signal. Then the voltage signal yeah, is a little bit lower than the than the plus and minus. So if you add here 24 volts, then here maybe 22 are coming back, something like this. Yeah, voltage drop. Yeah, voltage loss. At switched sensor. Okay, and we also have a short circuit proof.
If something is short, short circuit proof, you can connect those things as you like. Okay? As you like, you will not destroy the sensor. Not all of them are short circuit proof. Huh? Okay, and then we have the output configuration or the connection. Yeah? Let's say connecting parameters. Connecting parameters. This here is three wire connection. All right? Three wire connection. All right, it is. Three wire. We have three wires plus minus and signal. Right? That's a typical three wire DC sensor. Yeah? Then there are also four wire signals. Yeah? Looking like that. You have again plus and minus the power supply, yeah? and then you have signal and inverted signal. So you have a normally open and normally closed contact. Yeah. So this is normally open and this is normally closed, right? So you can switch between two things. This is also, yeah. This is called four wire, four wire connection, yeah. And there are also things out there, out there with two wire connection. Now it's getting interesting because how should that work? Please, how should that work? Yeah. So we have here, we have here plus, yeah. We have here minus, and this is already also, also. It's switching between between voltage levels, all right? It's switching between voltage levels. There is an this is called two wire or Namur. So this is not really minus. This is this is the signal output, all right? So this is switching between different voltage levels, yeah. If it's switched or not switched, then this, uh, this S is, is, I don't know the specification from the top of my head, but it's switching between different levels. So you have to use some special electronics, uh, which is seeing if this is working. The big benefit of those things is that you can immediately see if a wire was broken. Uh, if a wire, if there's a wire break, you don't get anything from the sensor. And if you're getting the full signal, yeah, you know there's a short circuit. Yeah, you can check the wire for short circuit and wire break. This can only be done by these NAMU sensors, so-called NAMU sensors. But you need some special electronics needed, okay? Some, some device, some NAMU device. Yeah? Here you don't, it's just switching. Yeah? And there are two possible ways to switch. That's PMP connection, PMP output. Yeah? There, the load is between S and minus. And there are NPN outputs. Load is between S and plus. Yeah? So, you know, this one output is switched. I will draw again a three wire connection yeah, here. This is plus. This is minus. Yeah. And this here would be the signal. Yeah. And you can think about if the signal is connecting to the ground. Yeah, I will make this that way. If the signal, if if here, if you think about here a switch, yeah, then of course you have to put the load here. Yeah, this 
is now NPN. Huh? This is NPN. We are switching the signal to minus and then we have a circuit which is running here. If we are switching the signal to plus, yeah, if it would look like that, if this would be, then we would have to put the load in here, yeah, then we have PMP connection. Yeah. We are switching the signal to plus and so the signal is now plus. All right. Those are two different types. Yeah. It's usually labeled on the on the sensors how to connect them, so it's not that you don't have to learn this. Yeah, but there is some data sheet for this and so on. Yeah. So these are names and terms for proximity switches. Next time we are going to talk about the first proximity switch. I have not even mentioned it. Yeah, we're talking about a read switch, a so-called read switch. Yeah, it's not about reading. It's with double e. Yeah. Uh, what a read switch is and how it is working, we will see in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.